Bay Bay Art Society is having its 37th annual exhibition here at Gattaker's Art Space in Maribor. Mark is president. What does this exhibition mean for the society? Well, it's an opportunity to uh, get our hidden gem, that we call it, in the Gallery 5 and the Harvey Bay Art Society out there in, uh, in the community so mm -hmm. they can see what's happening. But it's also a chance to show the talent that we've got in the area and also bring in other artists' work. Yeah. And the Art Society's been going for a long time now, hasn't it? This is our 50th year, mm -hmm. yeah, so 50th anniversary this year, uh, which is for a local community group, uh, pretty outstanding. So you would have seen many people come through your doors and really develop and grow as artists to see the stuff that's here on the walls now. Absolutely, we've had people who've been recovering from uh, injuries or um, heart problems, we've had people who've had handicaps, people who just want to come for social interaction, uh, but their skill level has developed immensely over the years. Mm -hmm. This exhibition's been running for 37 years. Looking around here at Gattaker's Art Space, what sets this year apart from the previous years? Uh, there's, there's a lot in common, of mm -hmm. course. The, you've got the the range of artists. Um, being a, a, a community uh, competition, we, we have the expert artists through to the amateur mm -hmm. artists, and it's lovely to have both of them have opportunities to show their work. But also, um, I think it's the diversity. Mm -hmm. uh, the diversity that it shows. Uh, it's it's the, the talent and range of uh, what they produce is wonderful. Yeah. Uh, hello, I'm Violetta Sandry and I'm a member of the Harvey Bay Art Society. My entry is a painting of a friend of mine who actually uh, performs in Harvey Bay and Howard and Maryborough and the Sunshine Coast. His name is Doug Alexander. A lot of hours. Because I don't paint like seven hours a day or anything, I just paint when I feel like it. So it took probably one and a half months to totally finish. I've only been painting since I retired, so I had to do something with my life. Um, I'm Genevieve Neal, and I'm from the Hubby Art Society. Thinking about doing a portrait, and so I had a few pictures taken. Um, and then I was short of one painting for the regional exhibition, and that was um, two, three weeks before, you know, when we had to put in our painting. And I, I thought, hmm, maybe since I already have the photograph, I'll just do a portrait because they were short of portraits, um, I thought. So, uh, yeah, so this one was done in a big hurry. Um, I had, uh, you know, I had put in my entry before I even started doing the painting. It's uh, very unforgiving. You just have to get everything perfect, otherwise it doesn't look like the person, and if it doesn't look like the person, I wouldn't have put in an entry. Um, yeah, so it, it is a lot of pressure to get it, to get it right. Um, I don't know, I think he's small, he's got a nice smile, our president. Um, yes, they, some things just drove me crazy, like his hair, for one thing, um, you know, when, when it was a little bit flat on one side, it just didn't look like him. I kept walking past him, that's not him, I walked past him, that's not him. So until I added that, oh, poof, to the side, uh, that's, that's, that's our president. It's actually really weird doing this portrait because um, then I come into the art gallery and I see Mark and I think about hours that I spent caressing his cheeks and ruffling his hair. <laughs> it's, you know, it's really, it's really weird talking to him when, when I've been spending hours doing that sort of thing. It's very intimate. Yeah. Uh, my name is Paul Neal. I'm, I'm a member of the Harvey Bay Art Society and uh, this is um, my entry into the open section of the, uh, the regional competition. On my way, right in the middle of summer, from Harvey Bay to Toowoomba, and this is just, um, I happened to see these cows uh, near Goomery, and it just sort of struck me, because it was such a hot, hot day, and sort of in the middle of drought. Um, so it was just interesting. There was actually a lot more sort of cows, or these are actually heifers, 
Um, sort of behind there you can see there's a creek and they're all sort of hidden in there in the shade and a few had snuck out right in the middle of the day to obviously to, to eat the, the food that's been put out there. Um, so I just found it an interesting picture and I tried to make the picture sort of very flat just to give the idea of the middle of the day and just the heat that there is during the drought and whatever so that's sort of what I tried to capture. Um, I sort of waited there for a while and I tried to direct the cows to get into good positions but they, uh, they wouldn't uh, so it was sort of ended up with that. I wanted them eating and someone else eating but uh, um, uh, it was just something that sort of uh, it, it just inter interested me just uh, seeing them like that. Yeah. The most difficult part is getting a cow, particularly the main cow, I suppose there's two, two cows there, is to getting them to look like cows. Uh, because you change it a little bit and the angles are wrong, uh, they're actually probably not as hard as horses, but they're quite a difficult, uh, well I found them anyway, difficult to actually get the proportions right. Because you make the legs too big, it doesn't look right. Uh, you make the, the, the back too long, it doesn't look right. So that, that was the most difficult. And then to have just the sun on them, even though it's a high sun, just enough sun on them to make it look to, to light them to make it look realistic. I'd just like to say anyone interested in art, they should definitely come along to this uh, exhibition at Gadigas. But also, if you're in the region, come along to the um, uh, Gallery 5, which is a 5 Sandy Street, Urangan. It's always got great art on display um, from Art Society members. Uh, it's well worth a visit and it's free. I'm Rolf Sieber, I'm currently the Vice President of the Art Society. And uh, this is my entry here in the uh, 37th uh, annual competitive art exhibition. And uh, this is uh, called uh, Full Moon at the Marina. It's not a particular uh, marina, it's all out of my head. You know, I made a composition myself and I just like this some sort of I've seen what inspired me, I've seen a photo of a moonlight, some sort of in a, not in a harbour situation, but in a, in a landscape. And I was so inspired how the dark and the light, some sort of place with the, with the, with the light. And that inspired me uh, to have this marina scene, where you some sort of see the uh, the moon coming through and all the light parts reflecting more than the dark parts and then of course the shadows of the boats uh, make that artwork some sort of quite uh, interesting piece so you virtually can look at it for quite sometimes you always discover something new somewhere and uh, this was my inspiration in one way or the other. I retired here in uh, 99. Uh, I some sort of did a bit on my house, did the house up and then it was almost my passion to do a bit of art or my hobby. And then uh, I discovered the Art Society which was not easy to, in those days because it's a bit uh, hidden. Jewel some sort of in your hanging. And I asked a few people, where's the art society? Oh, there's an art society here in Harvey Bay, but I can't tell you really where it is. <laughs> so finally I found it in Sandy Street, and I became a member in 2002. It is really a society where you... It's, it's, a, it's a friendship, it's, uh, it's, it's some sort of... It's hard to describe. It's a, when like-minded people come together, you, you uh, discuss artworks, you discuss ideas, and we have a lot of uh, workshops too during the week, little painting groups and art shops, and even there they come together and discuss different techniques and, and ideas, which is very inspiring. And, that was the reason why I joined the Art Society in the first place, to get like-minded people and discuss arts and culture and whatever. We are so fortunate to have so many talented artists here on the Fraser Coast. The ex exhibition here, the Harvey Bay Art Society's 37th Annual Art Exhibition, runs from July the 3rd to the 15th of August here at Gallagher's Art Space in Maribyrnong.